Okay, so managed to find a spot sort of out of the wind. Uh, been lucky enough today to be invited along on a group dig. So I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do any recording, so I didn't record a, an intro. But uh, they've been kind enough and said because my GPS and everything's turned off, I can record. Uh, bought the Legend out for a go. It's been a while since I used the Legend, hasn't it? Oh, I'm going to stand up and risk the wind. Yeah. So, uh, going to give that a whirl and see how we go. Alright, catch you out there. We're on to a little coinage, looking at the patina, I think about George V. Uh, can't see the date line. No, no. Edward. There you go. Little Edward Halfpenny. Right, let's get on with it sure what this is. Oh, I'm throwing it away again. Interesting though. It's got two holes in it there. Maybe a, I don't know, a bit of a strap end. Can't see that there's an obvious break on it though. So I have no idea. Definitely warrants more investigation though. Quite happy with that little thing. Ooh, looks like that worm off the labyrinth if you hold it like that. Right, on I go. Looks like it used to be a token. It's too thin to be a coin. Sadly though, it is an X token. It is no more. Right, on we go back in the dirt mainly so it doesn't blow away my god I mean look there's the hole look at this look at that that's amazing I do forget how good this legend is that is absolutely beautiful oh focus up I don't know about ID because I haven't got my reading glasses on, but same on both sides. And silver. And absolutely, I mean, you can see by my sausage fingers, I'm trying not to let the wind blow it. Look at that. Size of a fingertip. Well, smaller than a fingertip. That's beautiful. Right. On I go with hope. Most apologies for any wind noise. I haven't picked this out yet. Where are we? Can you see her? She's poking around with the pin pointer and I exposed the edge. Let's have a gander. I think it is. Oh my god! That's... Oh my god, look at that! That's not deep either. So that's only just escaped the plough. Give me a sec, I'll give it a quick uh, light brush off and get back to you. That's unbelievable. It's uh, Elizabeth I, sixpence. Look at that. But unfortunately, her face has been very 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 scrubbed off I'm trying to glint it into the light for you that's so close to the surface and it's I mean look how flat it is still look how flat that is that's unbelievable I'm absolutely over the moon with that absolutely over the moon All right stick around this bit I think Interesting little one. I thought it was a random piece of wire at first, but I'm not so sure. Look at that. That's interesting. 
interesting. Probably not, probably just a bit of tour, but pink my interest anyway. Right, wanna go. I don't know, but that smells like Roman to me. Roman, absolutely Roman. The radial crown. I can't quite work out what's going on there on the back. Not quite sure. I will have to have a bit of a research on that one. Yeah. Two hammers and a Roman. Gotta love this legend. Absolutely brilliant machine. Right, on I go. Really must apologise for this wind, it's horrific. That's the smallest one of them I've ever found. See a uh, little plate horse brass plate being riveted onto the leather work. Can't see anything on it, but uh, yeah, it's nice. Tiny little thing. Right, on I go. Hey, there we go. The musket ball, got to have one at least. Yeah, still with a sprue on. Anyway, on we go. Get out of this wind as best I can, but it is, really is horrific. Uh, it's had a booming signal. Well, that's going to be rubbish. But look, that's what I think it is. I haven't looked yet. I haven't had one for ages. It is. Stopper. Oh, still. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to make it out or not. Hold on. Got the uh, Welsh feathers on there. So it's a military button, I believe. Quite lovely. Should clean up well, I hope. Give it a soak when we get home. Right, on we go. Oh, for fork's sake. Okay, I know this is just rubbish, but I just found the uh, top part of a moo tube, but it took me a minute to get it because the lid's still on it. You don't see that very often, though. It's the first time I've ever seen that, I think. Yeah, still got the screw cap on the top of it. <laughs> That's cool. Right, not long left now I don't think, people are starting to thin out, and as I'm a guest I can't just stay on here. Right, on I go. Today has been a day to bring tears to your eyes, not least because of the howling wind, but uh, I don't know if you can make out quite how deep that is. It's got hands there, so I can pick my hands up. Just come out in the last glove full. Let's have a look. It's a cut half, I can tell you that much. At least I think it is. It's not... Yeah, it's a cut half. It's not folded. John. I really don't know. I'm going to have to look into that one. I'll put it up on the screen if I uh, manage to. Not sure. I need to go 
back to the opticians, I think. Right. I'm going to make my way back down the field because uh, I can only see two other people out now. So everyone must be clearing off. This has been an epic day. Where are we? There you go. I believe that's a watch winder. Tiny little square one. There we go. Lovely job. On we go. No idea on this one, but it is interesting. Absolutely no idea. Obviously off of something. Snap there and possibly there. But uh, solid loop there. No idea. Interesting though. On I go.